All right, so um, right now I am on my way to the city hall because um, yeah, my insurance is under my company's name and I don't work for the company anymore. So I need to switch to the national insurance and all that, all that jazz. So I'm gonna go there and then I need to get a title of um, proof of proof that I live at my address. And so, um, cause I wanna use that, cause you need that to get your um, moped license and I wanna get a moped license pretty soon so I'm on my way right now um, it says on Google that it's only 15 minutes away so and then we're gonna walk around that area and just check out the, the area since I have nothing else to do all right so this is the city hall it's pretty crazy in there um, I don't know where I can park my bike but yeah it took me like 15 minutes to get here this is pretty much like if you live in this little city um, you have to go here to like resolve um, everything that you need whether it's like insurance and all that stuff All right, so there was there were no Spaces here in this big bicycle parking lot. So I just kind of squished my bike here. I don't I don't I think this is illegal, but I Gotta get in here somehow. Well, I'm not gonna be here too long. So All right, so this place is madness. There's just so many It's just like every this city is so big for a little city in Osaka and um, they just take care of so many people here so this place is a lot it's really like just craziness in here they even have a cafe upstairs So, um, if you don't know Japanese, this is going to be difficult, like me. So it's probably going to take me a while. and then it's at 6191 and I'm at 6194 so it might take a while this place is crazy all right so I spent like maybe an hour and a half it wasn't too bad everything was kind of like um, quick and fast and so, um, yeah, the, uh, so I found out that my insurance that I paid for um, at work, I think, I think I, I, I get, more, for the pension actually, I think either they pay a little bit more, but the benefits are a lot better. And um, I get more in the end. So um, actually, I just realized working for a company, working for a company and get going under their pension plan is, and, and their insurance plan is much, much better if you do, instead of going on your own. I think you get more money back later on. So um, the insurance that I'm paying for is just by myself. I'm gonna pay for it's like sixteen thousand, so it's like one hundred fifty bucks. And then the insurance is twenty six thousand, so it's about two hundred fifty bucks. So insurance is two hundred fifty, and you pay about ten percent every month. I'm mean, not every month. You pay ten percent for bills if you go to the hospital, and then. Um, and then I pay um, 150 bucks for the national pension. So it comes out to like 400 bucks a month. So, yeah, uh, yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm just kind of taking it slow. I think I'll get a job, but I just, I don't wanna just rush into things. So, um, if anything, if this job doesn't call me, I'm probably going to, uh, I'm probably going to uh, just collect unemployment for maybe a month or two, so. So I'm going to park at the uh, train station nearby here and then we'll just walk around because I think there's a lot of stuff around here. Oh, the bike left. There was a bike inside here and it left. Crazy. All right, so I just got to the Takatsuki Sen Center Gal. That's the city I live in, Takatsuki. And um, I found this place. I've never been here, but 
you can't ride your bike through here and I don't know if I should park my bike because I think I'm gonna come back this way but I'm just gonna bring my bike anyways so I'm, I'm guessing like a long time ago this place was really busy we got a nice Thai restaurant here I didn't know they have Thai food here it's cool looks like it's closed it probably opens at night time oh they got music playing here we have to cut it every 15 seconds yeah they're not gonna have like really cool things in this um shotengai got a cute little cafe and spa this place is really interesting i mean i think the station is that way This is where a lot of old people just hang out. Look at this barber, it's pretty busy. This place reminds me of um, Korea. In Busan, when we went last, like two years ago. They all look, look the same, we got a nice snack shop here. Oh, this is a, a school in Nova. It's interesting. Look at this place. What is this? I think it's karaoke. Not a lot of bikes out here. Oh, and then there's a supermarket in there. Huge grocery store. Oh, it's actually a really big grocery store down there. Where do you park your bike? Oh, you got McDonald's in here. Two floors. What is this place? It just goes inside karaoke and pachinko. So I was thinking um, not bringing my bicycle and then I could just go into some of these stores but ah, they don't really look that interesting. Look at this cool restaurant. Look at this old salon. Straight from the 90s. Crazy. This whole place reminds me of like 2000s maybe 90s just this whole vibe like just everything like the floors the stores that rhyme the floor and the stores the the, the the people the way people are dressed this seems like straight out of 2000 the place okay I know I know where this is now all right so this place is right behind it's right in between two stations so there's so many restaurants and bars around here and this place really lights up at nighttime so this is a really um, in high demand place to live actually 
this pizza and wine. I saw some uh, trees over there. Maybe turn around. Yeah, this place really lights up at nighttime. It's pretty crazy. I think there's a lot of businesses around here as well. And it's a pretty major train station, so um, a lot of people will stop by here on their way home or have dinner with um, with their co-workers. But it's pretty dead because it's daytime right now. Alright, so there's a huge pachinko over here. And um, I just got towards the station. And uh, my girlfriend just said that they redid the whole station, so I'm gonna go check it out and see what's there. But where are, they, where are all these people going? It's interesting. Alright, so that's the station over here. This is the JR station. This is Takashima, yeah. Um, I was deciding if I should go in there or not. They got a supermarket in there too. They got Matsu, Zakaya. Um, I mean, I may come here another day, but um, you know, I'm not really, I'm not really digging the uh, mall stuff today. So I want to see what's on the other side, and I want to check out the station. So we have Tatsu, uh, not Tatsu. Um, Touch you as one of one of the students that I teach. We have a Takashimaya, and then we have like the smaller, like like cheaper building. And inside that building, I've I've been in there before, and there's just a lot of a bunch of a lot of um, old restaurants up above the uh, pachinko. And then the station's right there. And then on the other side, they have a lot of things going on. So yeah, I'm gonna just try to do that, and then um, I mean I've been to a, a plenty of Takashimaya mall so you can probably check it in any of the videos if you've been watching these videos so by the way if you're new to this channel please subscribe because there's gonna be a lot of stuff going on with um, me walking around and showing stuff and it's free and if you don't like it just unsubscribe so yeah I mean, my girlfriend said that they redid it. It doesn't look like they redid anything. It looks the same. Maybe there were some, um, some, um, um, what should we call it? Maybe there was some like lost in translation, but, or maybe she just didn't communicate it correctly with me, but. And look at this, some German waffles. This is really good. These are really good. They smell really nice. Wow. Yeah, these are really good. These waffles. But they have a small little food court here. They got Subway in the back. They got these cream puffs. Alright. So this is the station. And um... There's not that many people here. This is a huge station. I think because it's Thursday afternoon. And I think that's a good time for me to go to um, the city hall. Because the city hall as well was um, not that packed. Usually the city hall, there's so many people. And I thought maybe it's, it's better to then, I, I, I thought maybe it's better to come then than on Friday. Because Friday gets really busy. All right, so here's the other side. We're going to this mall, maybe. Just check it out real quick. So, if you live up here, it's probably expensive because you're right near the train station. That's a big part of um, the rent. Like, the closer you are to the uh, station, the more expensive your your rent is and if you live like right above the station it's probably really expensive and you're right above a mall and everything's so convenient so ECC that's another school that teaches English there's even a movie theater in here it's called Alex cinema 
Look at all these um, cherry blossom along the street here. This might be a, I don't know if you can see it, it's really dark. But um, I think this is gonna be a long video. There's not many cool stuff in here, so it's a lot of old stuff. But um, we're just going through real quick and then they have some stuff on the other side. They probably have some performances here as well. Probably today. I think they have something downstairs as well. I think this Tom and Jerry coffee looks really cute. Looks really good too. So in this mall, it's like a bunch of girl stuff. Things that women need. A lot of necklaces, purses, all that stuff. I've never been upstairs, so wanted, I want to go upstairs actually. It's like a huge pharmacy. Yeah, this is like necessary for the people who live upstairs. So there's a lot of apartment buildings upstairs, so this is pretty uh, handy for them. Alright, so the bottom floor was just like more women's stuff. Seems like here is uh, a Syria and then like home goods store. And they have some restaurants up here interesting this must be really convenient for the people who live here you just they can just come down the elevator and just eat at a restaurant oh you can cook this food in front of you the meats soba 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 oh chinese food and this looks delicious I think like almost every mall, like depending on when they're made, they all pretty much have the same stuff. Like a lot of these older malls have this same Chinese food. I think I have this store next to my um, house, this franchise I think. I think my girlfriend orders here all the time because I, I saw some, um, some food that I recognized. But look at this Chinese restaurant. Reminds me of an American Chinese restaurant. And it actually it tastes very similar. Get to Ankhuri. It's really interesting. This is this like a cafe with pizza and pasta? Alright, let's go upstairs. Nice, they have a movie theater. This place is like one stop shop. It'd be awesome if you like lived here. It's probably really expensive actually. But Alex Cinema. Whoa. I kind of want to watch a movie, but I kind of just want to go home. Let's see some of the movies that are out. I think they're just all Japanese. What is that? Oh, there must be a new one. I've never seen that one. Huh. Let's look at some of the menu. Just like typical stuff, they got churros, hot dogs, Krispy Kreme, popcorn, caramel popcorn. Alright, so this is the um, movie listing, which is pretty cool. They got a little preview and the times, which is nice. They have some movies in English as well. So I decided to uh, stop by the Jupiter store. This is a foreign grocery store and um, it's probably usually a little bit expensive and, but they have stuff that the regular stores don't have. I want to just check it out and see if they have anything I can eat. Oh, these are really good, these waffles. The Pepperidge Farms are really delicious. Got a whole list of chocolate here. A lot of good stuff. Jesus.
it's funny that I live here because, um, not here, but in this city because I used to work at a school right by here when I first got here. And so, there's more things down here. And I'm not sure if there are like offices on this side. I've got a bookstore down here as well. Wow, it's a huge bookstore. There's also a grocery store down here, so. So like if you live up here, you have pretty much everything in your, um, in your fingertips you got pharmacy you got restaurants you got a movie theater you even got a foreign grocery store which is nice you know probably because like normal people don't go to the i think i think normal people just don't shop at the um the foreign grocery store because i, I don't think they have a i don't want to say i don't think they have a taste for it but i, I just don't think they are, they're interested oh they have a quality here too that's another foreign shop I don't know if you've, if you've been watching my videos, I usually go to these called these. Oh, wow. It goes down all the way down there. It's interesting. I forgot where I parked my bicycle. Oh yeah, on the other side. Okay, so I'm just gonna go down this street. Or did I already come down that street? All right, so uh, yeah. Yeah, I think it's 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 already been like 30 minutes, so I'm actually going to end the video here. I'm gonna end the video here, and then I'm gonna start another one this way, and then I'm just gonna check more things around here. So it's just gonna be a mix of things in these two videos, because I don't wanna have like a 45 minute video, or like an hour video. All right, um, please check out the ne next video. Uh, thank you for watching, goodbye.